Hey, what's going on guys? EJP7 here, back at it again with another video on the Jets franchise series. Today, we are doing episode 6. Um, sorry, that is week 8, as you can see. Um, I did film some videos, like 2, of like week 1 and another week or whatever. But for some reason, when I went to Twitch, they just weren't there. So I really need to get a capture card, but I don't have one. So I'm just going to stick with Twitch. Uh, I'm sorry you guys missed out on that, but, um, it's okay. I mean, we did kind of just blow them out anyways. It wasn't, like, close or anything. Um, anyway, so this, we're going to be doing trade deadline trades and stuff like that. And we want to be a Super Bowl. We already think we are a Super Bowl contender, but we want to make sure we win the Super Bowl. So, um, let's make some big trades. And, uh, yeah. Oh, and uh, just to let you know before I start the video. Um, so... A lot of times when I make Madden videos, get copyrighted because the music or whatever. And this one was going to get copyrighted too. So I had to delete all the sound and redo a voiceover. So please like, because this takes a lot of time to make. So I have to voice over this whole thing and do a lot of editing. So please like the video and subscribe. Now let's get into it. Okay, so we've been trying to pull off trades for about 15 minutes now. But I cut it all out. And right here, as you can see, this trade got went through. Um, I was I was trying to do these trades for like Amari Cooper and like big name receivers like that and I couldn't get in to go through so I just randomly Threw in like all three of my first round picks just to see what would happen And it went through first try I might have been able just to do for two first and maybe like a third I kind of overpaid I think but it's okay Nick Bosa is elite He is edge threat He's 94 He's like 22, 23 years old he was rookie like literally like a year or two ago. He's really young. He's X Factor already. Man's a stud. Welcome to the team, Nick Bosa. So right here, these trades I'm gonna do next. I was just trying to dump off cap, and also I wanted to get our young receivers more playing time. So we have some we have some really young and fast receivers, and we have these old kind of slow receivers. So right here, as you can see, we got a second round pick and a seventh round pick. We're trying to gain picks back, draft capital, because we trade away our whole future pretty much. We trade away three first round picks. We still have seconds. And as you can see in the next couple of trades, we're kind of just trying to stockpile lower picks since we don't have first. We're trying to get like seconds, thirds, fourths, and stuff like that. So we may not get a big player in the draft, but we can get some, you know, maybe maybe we can find some diamonds in the rough or some late round studs. Maybe we can find our Tom Brady or something like that. I don't know. Right here in this trade, we were trying to trade away some of our draft capital we got back from the last trade to get a first round pick, but sadly, it was so close, but we couldn't get the trade to go through. We tried many different variations, and we couldn't get it to go through. Eventually, we did work out a trade with the Colts right here, Paris Campbell and a fourth round pick. I think this is a really good trade. Jameson Crowder's older, not very fast. Paris Campbell's like 95 speed, and he's like 23. He's, or 24, I don't know. He's really young, really fast. He's going to be a stud receiver. He's going to be on our team for the rest of the future. And he's going to help us out a ton with the passing game. It's going to be nice. We're going to be able to do short little dump-off plays to him. We can run really fast and sprint out. We can send him deep. We can do all sorts of stuff. And we got back and forth. So, solid trade right there. Now, after trading both those receivers away, we are trying to fix our rotation where we can get a young guy's playing and a fast guy. So, we have Brandon Ayuk, who's going to be a stud. He's pretty quick. He's not the fastest, though. But we have Paris Campbell. He's really fast. Perryman, as you saw last year, was really fast. And we also have Greenwood, the rookie, who's really fast. As you can see right here, we're putting Greenwood as a slot receiver. Because man's a rookie with 95 speed. We got him in, like, I think the fifth or something around like that, like, last year in the draft, which is awesome. Next, after trading down to get, like, we traded away our higher overall receivers, but we got fast young ones. We needed a good line to protect, I mean, Sam Donald, because, you know, he's young. He's having, like, an MDP type of year, and we don't want him to go down for the playoffs because we're halfway done with the season. So, picked up Taylor Moten. He's going to be a good starter right tackle for us. Now, we didn't really have a backup quarterback. He was, like, a 50-some overall. So right here, we signed Marcus Mariota, which is going to be a good pick. So if Sam Donald does happen to go down, we have a good, fast, reliable quarterback. Hopefully, he can play like his Titans days. 
Now we are doing a sign and trade move. We signed Zach Pascal and Jamal Williams, and I think we traded them both for third round picks. Actually, never mind, my bad. I forgot we actually traded Jamal Williams for Corey Lindsley, who we will move to the right guard. Sorry, I forgot. I Like I said, I had to do a whole voiceover for this whole video because, you know, the audio, I didn't want to get copyrighted, so, um, yeah. Okay, so now here is the final lineup. We will not be making any more trades. We will sit past the trade deadline and probably go to the playoffs. Next episode, you'll see us play the playoffs and do an end of the season recap. See you guys all in the next one. Peace out.